It's time for College Hoops 2K8. The LSU Tigers battle the Loyola Marymount Lions. We're really excited to bring you this matchup. Hi there, everyone. We're here at Gersten Pavilion. This is Vern Lundquist with Bill Raftery and Tracy Wolfson. What's your take on this, Bill? The story here is a matchup at off guard. Kimball is one of the premier shooting guards in the nation. You can't help but notice what a smart player he is. He understands all the little aspects of the game. Number 35 is also in the discussion of the nation's best two guards. This guy is a defensive powerhouse. This is the kind of guy you just love to have on your team. They're both ready to go. We'll see which of the two can lead their team to victory. The Lions control the opening tip, and we'll get this one started. The game has just begun, and they're already in the minimum. Number 44 pulls the trigger, scores the opening field goal. They now lead by two. Passes it to the right. All alone. Drained by number 35. And we're now all tied up two. Number 44 inbounds the ball. Kimball takes it up. Sends. Gets called for blocking, and that's his first foul. You've got to establish position early if you're defending Mern, and he just didn't beat him to the spot. Risky pass. Number four takes the shot. Gets it to fall from 15 feet. They take a two-point lead. Passes, right wing, O'Neal, here comes the double team. Pokes free, but it's recovered by Roberts. Has it down low. Last shot laid in by O'Neal. A dynamite bounce pass. The D never saw it coming. Saw it going, though, right into the net. Number 44, inbounds the ball. Now let's check in with the third member of our team, Tracy Wolfson. Tracy? Vern, before the game, I talked with the head coach. He told me if there is one area where I want my players to excel tonight, it's rebounding. He said they know what a tremendous rebounding team they're up against, but they're prepared to make the extra effort to win the battle on the board. Vern? Thanks, Tracy. Up ahead, Kimball. What a last line of resistance. you got to come strong with that fella in there. Williamson, lead pass inside. Number 44 gets the whistle for blocking, and that's his first foul of the game. That's a tough call to have go your way if you're a defender. You really have to sell it. Far side. O'Neal backs him down. Stolen by number four. That's not usually the spot on the floor where you see the double team but it worked there. That last 17-footer was missed by Walker. How about the hustle of the little guys? Pulling it away from the big fellas. Knocked loose, but it's recovered by Williamson. Walker gets the reach-in call, and that's his first foul of the game. So he's shaking things up, and this could spell trouble for the other team. This group has a lot of team chemistry. Roberts inbounds the ball. Lowry gets the reach-in call, and that's his first foul of the game. It takes quick hands to get the theft, and he was too slow that time. Poke loose, but it's recovered by Williamson. Takes it up. The finger roll was laid in by number 35. And they're now behind by one. About seven and a half minutes left in the half. Lowry. 
Kimball from deep. It's blocked. He read that shot so beautifully. He knew exactly when to go up and get that one. Wonderful execution. Ooh, what a leader. What a tough shot to pull off. Kimball inbounds the ball. Kimball catches it right wing. Pulls up. He's got two. They're set up in Nineveh. O'Neal, they're bringing the double team. Gets it high post. The layup good by number 35. They're ahead 10 to 9. About six and a half minutes left in the half. Number 21 bounces it down low. Last shot laid in by Lee. Beautiful improvisation. He pulled that out of his bag of tricks. Goes up. Can't convert, but he'll go to the line for two. This is the first. Both teams are making a few lineup changes. Good on number two. Singleton makes his first appearance. Lee inbounds the ball. About six and a half minutes left in the half. Left wing. Kimball puts it up. It's in for three. He's one for two from downtown. They're going to double team him. The Tigers turn this one over out of bounds. That's not a good look, Fern. You've got to use your head, not just start firing balls all the way down the court. Lowry passes it up court. Passes it to the right wing. Nice little crossover. That last basket was buried by Kimball. This game plan is simple. Just get him the ball. He's your main guy. Lethal. He is so hard to defend. Number 35. Here's the spin move. Can't get it to fall inside. As soon as he got the ball down there, the defense was all over him, making things difficult. Beats it to the wing. Dicey pass. Number four. Catches it in the paint. Behind the arc. All net on the shot by Lowry. By eight. LSU has been on the wrong side of this long run. And Tracy's got a report for us. The head coach is not at all happy with the drought they're going through and told his assistants to find a way, any way, to turn this one around. All right, Tracy. Singleton inbounds the ball. Dumps it to the paint. Roberts backs in. He's double teamed. Roberts was just sitting in the paint. And the ref's going to call him for it. The Lions can push their lead to double digits. Number 44 goes up, count it, and he'll have a chance for the three-point play. I love the strength. He fought through the foul, no problem. And that will give him the three-point chance. Foul shot is good for a three-point play. Number 21 is whistled for reaching in, and that's his first foul. Oh, you can't come across the body like that. That is a textbook reach.
Singleton inbounds the ball. Outright. It's a nine-point spread. Dumps it to the inside. Backs him down. Number 44 raises up. Number 44 gets the board inside. The Titans will get a few more starters back into the game. Takes it up. The layup was banked in by O'Neal. But they're still behind by nine. Number 44 inbounds the ball. The Lions with a lot of momentum. Goes to the crossover. Incredible speed and quickness. Once he punches it into that extra gear, it's lights out. The Tigers all time. They're getting set to inbound the ball. He's doubled up. Right around four minutes left in the half. Number 44 goes up. Great finish in traffic. They're now out in front by 11. LSU has not been able to shut down the inside game at all. Tracy is by their bench with a report. The head coach just told the players on his bench, we have to be more physical in the paint. Don't be afraid of some contact. Sounds like he'd rather have some fouls called than to keep giving up all those easy baskets. Thanks, Tracy. Number four inbounds the ball. Here's a little 2-1-2 two -two for you, Vern. They want to beef up the D underneath. Number 44 gets it down low. Flip up and in on that last layup. They're reading each other so well. That bucket looked effortless. Both players knew where to be, the shooter and the passer, to help the other out. Errant last shot by Singleton. Number four brings it up the floor. Knocks it loose, but it's recovered by number four. Number 44, the crossover. Stuff sends it back with authority. Boy, he really reshapes what you hope to do on offense. Passes down low. Singleton nails the turnaround jumper. They make it a single-digit game. 2.36 left in the first half. Number 44. Here comes the double team. Has it on the inside. Number 21 with the shot. Off the mark thanks to the tight D. But they're still out in front by nine. Picked off by number 44. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep and then capitalize. Sims inbounds the ball. The Tigers will take a timeout. Well, let's get back to the action. Both teams are going to shake things up a little bit with some subs. Roberts hands it off. Crosses it up. Nice job on the assist by Sims. They're now behind by nine. One forty-eight left in the first half. Dangerous pass. They're going to double team him. Kimball, easy look. Hits it. They now lead by eleven. Sims. 
O'Neal catches it outright. What a pass. Takes it up. Lays it right in. He's got eight. Number 11 inbounds the ball. He's doubled up. Lee, way up court. Goes up. It's good! We've got a full house today. And this crowd is ecstatic. They're up 36 to 25. Williamson spins. Roberts takes it up. Rises and dishes. The Tigers were the last ones to touch it, and they'll turn it over. Over, and they've got to communicate a little bit better out there so they don't have any more passes like that one. 51 seconds left in the first half. Shoots from 13 feet. The shot was knocked down by number 44. By 13. Sims lets it go. Nice feed by Williamson. But they still trail by 11. Number 44 inbounds the ball. Walker for three. Oh, he hits the buzzer beater. And they're now out in front by 14. First half comes to an end with the score 41 to 27. Give us your opinion on the first half, Bill. I can't think of too much good to say about this game so far. Maybe you can do play-by-play -play and color. Let's see who we have as our player of the half, Bill. Number 44. He's my pick, Vern. He's finding ways to score every trip down the floor, and he's carrying his team. He's been a force on the offensive end, and is putting on a show for everyone here. A phenomenal performance. Tremendous effort from our player of the half. We're all set to begin the second half. Sims inbounds it to start the second half. Takes it up. The finger roll was flipped up and in by number 35. He's shooting 83% for the game. Let's check in with Tracy Wolfson. Thanks, Vern. During halftime, I spoke with the head coach. He told me that his game plan was going as planned and felt no need to change things up. Coach went on to tell me that he couldn't be happier with all the second chances his team was getting. He felt that if they kept up the same effort in the second half, they would have a distinct advantage on the offensive glass. Back to you, Vern. Okay, Tracy. We'll see if he got the message across. Walker dishes to the elbow. Number 44 backs in. Knocked free, but it's recovered by number 44. Kimball from D gets it to fall. He's shooting 66% from beyond the arc. Down low, kicks it out to the wing. Corralled by number four. He'll make that one most of the time, but the D got a break on that one. Leads him in. Shoots it. This crowd couldn't be any happier. Just listen to the people in this building. 22 points, and he's the top scorer. Roberts will bring it up for himself. Kimball inbounds the ball. Kimball lobs it to the elbow. 
Number 44 releases. Misses the long one. They've still got a 12-point lead. Walker is tagged with the reach, and that's foul number two for him. Lee is needed out on the floor. He didn't get much of a rest. He should concentrate on just getting good position instead of flailing away at the ball like that. Lob to the inside. Let's it go. Gets it to go. And he's got a chance to add one more. He's either got to foul hard or don't foul at all. You can't just give up easy three-point plays. He can't come away with a three-point play. Kimball passes way down court. With the shot, hits the jumper. He's six for eight for the game. O'Neal inbounds the ball. The Tigers with some difficulties. The Tigers call time. Well, it looks like they're getting set to inbound the ball. Leads him with the pass. Williamson block. You gotta love the help defense on that one. He came in out of nowhere to reject the shot. Lee catches it, top of the key. Crosses it over. Kimball from the free throw line. Bounces it off the left rim, then in. They increase their lead to 14. The student section sounds pretty excited for him. I think they like what they're seeing. Oh my, that's what it's all about. The passion for their team is just awesome. That last dunk was slammed down by Walker. Power jam! That's just raw power! Impressive physicality indeed. Just over seven minutes left in the second half. It looks like they're playing man, -man. Left wing, fires. The straightforward jumper botched by number 35. Tough one there. They've got a good look and they couldn't capitalize. Passes it to the free throw line. Kimball goes up. Let's take a look at the State Farm drive of the game. He gets the job done almost every time, Vern. We're talking about a fellow with onions. Roberts inbounds the ball. The Tigers down big. Lee gets called for the reach, and that will be his second foul of the game. It takes quick hands to get the theft, and he was too slow that time. O'Neal backs down. Dishes it for a side to end the run. The layup flipped in by Williamson. They now trail by 16. Walker tosses it up court. Kimball catches it cross court. Count the basket and the foul. A superior effort to fight through the foul and put it down. Strong move. Both teams will make some substitutions. He completes the three-point play. Number four. Got a quick breather, but they need him back on the floor. Sims inbounds the ball. The Tigers with some difficulties. Number 35 goes up. 
He just exploded off the floor to time that block. Wonderful anticipation by the defender. Lee has it on the free throw line. Shoots it. The jumper was buried by number 44. He's got 24. The Tigers need to find some answers here. Williamson bounces it down low. Knocks down the first one. Gets the second to fall as well. Number four inbounds the ball. Right block. Number 44 picks it up, buries the two block layup. They lead 61 to 40. Dumps it to the middle, raises up. The inside shot buried by Singleton. Williamson with the nice pass, nine assists, and he leads both teams in that category. Cuts off the pass. Leads him with the pass. I'd love to see that. He was lurking around then pounced. Such a thief burn. But they're still down by 17. Kimball. Launches one from beyond the arc. Got it! LSU calls time. They've got one left. Well, let's get back to the action. Sims inbounds the ball. Under five minutes left in the second half. away but it's recovered by Williamson lobs it up wonderful job of denying the basketball that time great pick number 44 nice move leaves it up and in by 22 the Tigers with some abysmal stats stolen away Lowry crosses it up court. Takes it up. What a jam to finish the break by Kimball. They got on this roll a while ago and just haven't looked back. LSU needs to cut down on the turnovers. And Tracy is near their bench. Tracy? The head coach is not sugarcoating the issue. He told his assistants our fundamentals are abysmal. And then added, the only players I want on the floor right now are the ones that can take care of the ball. Thanks, Tracy. Oh, the quick hands. Before they even knew what hit them, he made off with that one. Last shot jammed in by number 44. Send it in. That's how you use size. The little fella didn't stand a chance. But Dro puts it up, hits the quick shot. He's shooting 100% for the game. Number four, inbounds the ball. Kimball. Catches it, right side, unloads. No good on the jumper by number 44. But they're still up by 22. Williamson skips it inside. Hits the tray. He's two for four for the game. To the free throw line. Passes down low. He's double teamed. Poked away. But it's recovered by Boudreaux. 2.45 left in the game. Williamson, the shot down low. With the rejection. I love the D. Get it out of here. Last shot dumped down by number 44. We've gotten used to seeing performances like this from him, and he hasn't let us down tonight. Goes up. The 
Finger roll was laid in by Boudreaux. And they now trail by 19. Number four, inbounds the ball. Number 44, number 44 was camped in the lane there and he gets the three second call. Both teams are making substitutions. Substitution on the court. Number 35 dumps it off. Stolen away by Scott. Number 21 throws it up. Hits the inside shot. And they now lead by 21. The Tigers are really struggling. Leads him in. Takes it up. Led him nicely with the dish. And it's laid in by number 35. 17 points. And he's his team's leading scorer. Number 11 fires it way up court. The Lions turn this one over out of bounds. I'm not sure who that was going to, Vern. It seems he hit the panic button and sent the ball sailing. O'Neal inbounds the ball. 141 left in the game. Roberts has it out left. Backs in. Slater shoots from 13 feet. Swishes it through. They're in front, 76 to 55. From deep. Snatched inside by O'Neal. Hits the layup, but they still trail by 19. Lob down low. Here's the double team. Number 11. Puts up the tray. Roberts snatches the rebound. They'll give him that one every day of the week. Way out of his range. Number 35 shoots the three. Count it. Well, if you leave him alone like that, gosh, he'll knock him down every time. Scott inbounds the ball. Seven second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Knight hands it off. Lowry bounces it down low. Number 35 grabs the rock. I don't think they can come back. There's too far to climb in too short a time. Last attempt off the mark by Williamson. The crossover. Scott. Open look. Swish. They should hold on to the lead, Vern. If they play smart, they can walk away with the win. Williamson shoots it. Knocks down the trifecta. Poked loose. But it's retrieved by Slater. There's a whistle. Knocks it down. And he'll come away one of two. Number 35. Shoots! Offline! And that's all for this one. The Lions knock off LSU. 79 to 63. Now we'll bring you our player of the game. Let's quickly go to Greg Gumbel in the studio with the Pontiac game-changing performance. Thanks, Vern. Welcome, everyone, to 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel with today's version of the Pontiac game-changing performance. There is nothing more exciting in basketball than a slam dunk that rocks the house. Slam the door on their opponents with big-time dunks like the one you're seeing here. This is a dunk his teammates will be buzzing about for a while. Look at the fury with which he throws it through the hoop. Thanks, Greg, for Tracy Wilson and Bill Raftery. 
This is Vern Lundquist saying thanks for joining us for College Hoops on 2K Sports.